It's been five years since World War II, and two wars have emerged, the Cold War and Korean War. President Truman is President of the U.S. China has begun invading their neighboring country, Tibet, hoping to bring it out of its old feudal serfdom society. The Tibetan resistance group that was formed to fight the Chinese was called Kushi Gangjuk, which meant four rivers, six ranges, which meant to represent all of Kum or unity. Even though the resistance failed, the CIA's support in the upbringing of Kushi Gangjuk was important because the Tibetans were able to have conflict with the Chinese that had raped, tortured, and beaten Tibetans. Lama Renchen depicts the Chinese turning the Tibetans against each other. But now Chinese come, they say, Oh, you poor, the real <coughs> owner has boss is rich because you're working for them. They become rich. Yeah. So then, they rich that belong to yours. You can to beat up them. Then you can take this old property house you can take. Shortly after the invasion, the Chinese forced a 17-point agreement onto the Tibetan government, making Tibet part of China. The Chinese then began to impose a new law which made all firearms to be surrendered. They, the women, were stripped of their clothing in the presence of all weapons, and if the man refused to confess to the charges, the woman was raped in front of the man. Gampo Tashi the leading man in the upbringing of the resistance. The recent Chinese actions against the Tibetans fueled a Tibetan revolt which was called Kushi Gendruk. A message was sent for arms to Jialo Thandup, the Dalai Lama's brother, who had escaped to India and made contact with America. I introduced what you call Americans through the direct foot contact with the Tibetans and then come in this what you call so-called American participating, training, and recruiting, and sending the Tibetans to the United States for training and this and that. Started like that way. The Cold War had come to Asia, and that the fear that, which had concentrated obviously primarily on Europe prior to that time, now was this idea that communism was monolithic, communism was working together, that the aggression had to be stopped someplace, and that wherever you could do something to stop the Chinese, it had to be done. We know that the cost of freedom is high. We are determined to preserve our freedom, no matter what the cost. CIA was then given the okay to help the Tibetans. The CIA funding helped make Kushi Gendra continue to be operational because now it was able to pay its members and obtain provisions. From an emotional point of view, quite apart from national interest and pragmatic uh, situation, we felt so strongly about the Tibetans themselves and the Tibetan cause that if we could roll the clock back to the time when they were truly independent, we'd love to do that. The day before the Chinese attacked a town called Pembar, they dropped leaflets saying for the Tibetans to surrender. The Tibetans did not surrender. To that every day, some 15 jets came. They came in groups of five. Each jet carried 15 to 20 bombs. We were in the high plains, there was nowhere to hide. The five jets made quick rounds and killed animals and men. We suffered huge casualties. Shout out to us, surrender, surrender. We shouted back, eat shit. I swear we said, eat shit. You invaded our country. What do you mean by surrender? We shot at them instead. The reinforcements of Chinese came in with long-range artillery. They came in with aircraft. They bombed. They, uh, they killed thousands and thousands and thousands and captured maybe a, a few hundred. Next place for the resistance to set up after the Chinese had destroyed all the resistance strongholds in Tibet was Mustang Nepal. Richard Nixon then took office as president and wanted to make relations with China. The relations between the U.S. and Tibet would crumble because of this. The Chinese then gave the U.S. the following guidelines if the U.S. wanted relations. The major condition, two conditions. One, 
United States must cut off their diplomatic relationship with Republic of China, Taiwan. Second, United States must cut off all the connections and all assistance for the Tibetans, including Master. When all of a sudden, the American government or CIA stopped our you know, program, all of a sudden, then we felt a little bit, we've been deceived. The Dalai Lama also intervened to stop the resistance. I was told, uh, they decide if Nepalese uh, officials uh, come to their place and uh, take arms, then they decide to fight. Uh, so, that's very serious. The Dalai Lama then sent the message to the resistance. The message clearly stated that the Tibetan resistance fighters had to surrender. So when the men heard the message, this is how they reacted. Then one of our leaders, Genpachin, said, it is better for me to die than to surrender my weapons. Even so, he did give them up. But afterwards, he cut his own throat with a dagger and killed himself right there. Another soldier, Sewan Gebo, drowned himself. Four or five others also threw themselves in the river and killed themselves. No support from the CIA, no base in Mustang, no weapons because they had surrendered to the Nepalese government who was making relations with China and some of their own men imprisoned, Kushi Gangdruk's battle had ended. Tibetans in China are beaten if they own a picture, tape recording or speech of the Dalai Lama. Basic human nature is gentleness. Of course the aggressive nature based on greed, anger, and ambitions or these things also is a part of our mind. But certainly these are not the dominant force in our mind. Dominant force of our mind, I believe, uh, human affection. The reason is, look right from the beginning of our life and till our death. We can see human affection rules all this life, period. This child's father, my older brother, was involved in a demonstration against the Chinese three years ago. He has been in prison near Lhasa since then. Because of this, the Chinese are discriminating against the entire family and won't allow them to buy enough grain to feed everyone. The human right problems in Tibet, Tibetan parents give up their children so they can be smuggled out of Tibet and be put in a new home and receive an uncensored education. They do not go with their parents. The children are sent to Dharamsala, India to be taken care of by other Tibetan refugees. These are Tibetan children being given to their new foster mother. It is totally unacceptable to the Chinese government for officials of any country to meet him in any form. Tibet has now become a tourist attraction and amusement park for the Chinese people. In my opinion, I don't see our armed struggle as something that was helpful only at a certain point in our history, something that is finished. I believe we should look at it as one chapter in our continuing struggle for freedom. I think the agency looks at Tibet as having been one of the best operations that the agency has run. The saying sees the brighter future. There will be problems in Tibet, but we will solve them in our own way. And we will not be enemies with China. We could even be friends.